Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce percentage. What is percentage and how can we express numbers into percentage? When we say percent, we mean out of 100. This means that a percentage is a special fraction where the denominator is 100. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how to convert our whole numbers into percentage and fractions into percentage. When we say percent, this implies that out of 100. So suppose we have X percent, this can be written as X over 100 in rational form, and it can also be written as 0.0x as a decimal fraction. So before we start our conversions, let us refresh our memory on equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions, suppose we have 1 over 2. 1 over 2 can be written as 2 over 4 because if you multiply 1 by 2, you shall obtain 2. And you have to also multiply the denominator by the same value, which is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2. If I multiply 2 by 3, I will obtain 6. If I multiply 4 by 3, I shall obtain 12. So all these fractions are equivalent, because they will simplify to the same value. So the same is applicable to percentage. If you want to convert numbers into percentage, you can follow the same principle and try to transform the denominator into 100. And thereby, the numerator of that expression is the required percentage. Suppose we want to express 1 over 2 as a percentage. We want to transform this 2 into 100 and therefore we have to multiply it by 50. This is equal to 2 times 50 is 100 and we have to also multiply 1 by 50 and it will give us 50. Therefore, 1 half is equal to 50%. 50 out of 100 can be written as 50%. So first we want to convert um, 3 over 20 into percentage. We know if we multiply 20 by 5, we shall obtain 100. And therefore we have to also multiply the numerator by that 5. 5 times 3 is 15, so we have 15. And 20 times 5 is 100. This means that 3 over 20, it is the same thing as 15%. Suppose we want to convert um, 5 over 25 into percentage. We know if we multiply 25 by 4, we shall obtain 100. And we have to equally multiply the numerator by that 4. 4 times 5, we shall obtain 20. And 25 times 4 is 100. Therefore, 5 over 25 is the same thing as 20 percent. So what about if the denominator cannot be multiplied by any number to obtain 100? Suppose we have 3 out of 8 and we want to express this as a percentage. Definitely you cannot multiply 8 by any number to obtain 100. Therefore, you can either perform a long division or use your calculator to first of all divide these numbers. Whatever you obtain, multiply that by 100. So by using calculator, 3 divide 
8 is equal to um, 0 0.375. So to convert this into percentage, all you have to do is to multiply this decimal number by 100. This will shift the decimal point two times to the right. From here, one, two. And this is equal to three, seven point five. And finally, three over eight is the same thing as three, seven point five percent. So what about whole numbers? To convert a number like 5 into percentage, it is as simple as multiplying the number by 100. So 5 times 100 will give us 500 percent. And you can also rationalize this whole number, which is going to be 5 over 1. To transform this into 100, we have to multiply by 100. This will give us 100. And we have to multiply the numerator by 100, which is going to make it 500. And therefore, 5 over 1, which is the same thing as 5, is equal to 500. Instead of dividing by 100, we write percent. And hence, 5 is the same thing as 500 percent. So every whole number you take, just multiply it by 100, and you shall obtain its percentage. For the small numbers, like say 2.34, to express this into percentage, all you have to do is to multiply it directly by 100. 2.34 times 100, it is going to shift the decimal point two times to the right. One, two. We shall obtain two, three, four. And therefore, 2.34 is the same thing as two, three, four percent. So in a nutshell, once you have a decimal number, just multiply it by 100 and you shall obtain its percentage. Likewise, a whole number multiplied by 100, you shall obtain its percentage. So in our next class, we shall see how to find a particular percentage of other numbers. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.